back in 2017, June of 2017, at E3, Nintendo announced that Metroid Prime 4 was being in development for the Nintendo Switch. We haven't heard anything for a couple years until just the other day, which was January 25th of 2019. We got an update on the development for Metroid Prime 4, and they were saying that the game's development team has been scrapped, whether that means the new team... I don't know if it's actually a new team, but new team for Metroid Prime, I guess. But whoever was making it is not doing it now. I guess whoever had no idea what they were doing, and now Nintendo made the difficult decision, and they regrettably they regrettably are informing us that the game has been delayed, and they're going to let Retro Studios in the U.S. and Austin, Texas, take over, which is a first-party Nintendo developer. Now, they were the uh, original team behind the Metroid Trilogy. Yes, on Metroid Trilogy is on the Wii, but I mean the trilogy in general. So you have Metroid Prime 1 and 2 in the GameCube, Prime 3 on the Wii, and then they released the first two games and the third one in a trilogy pack for the Wii. And I'm hoping that comes to the Switch this year or next year or whatever. Yeah, it sucks, but at the same time, I'm really excited that Retro is back doing it. They might have, maybe they were working on another game as well. I don't know. I checked their Twitter account yesterday and they didn't tweet anything about the announcement. Which I was really surprised. But, then, but anyway, yeah, Metro Prime 4, I expect that to come out. I expect 2023, possibly 2022, but I think 2023. For the, not just the Nintendo Switch, but I think it's going to come to the next generation console. I'm not talking about the console revision, whatever that is. We're not going to talk too much about that now. But talking, about, I think it'll be like The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, that released on the GameCube, and we eventually got the HD remaster on the Wii U. And then we also had... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was originally going to be a Wii U exclusive, but it ended up getting delayed so much that they decided to put it on the Wii U and the Switch. I think Metroid Prime 4 will be on the Switch and the Switch 2, whatever they call it. Maybe it be called the Ultra Nintendo Switch. Maybe that would be a successor, I don't know. Imagine if they actually did call that. That would be a pretty cool name, I think. But yeah, so we're probably not going to hear anything for a couple of years. I'd say we're not, we're not going to hear anything at all this year. I can guarantee it. If we do hear anything, all they're going to say is development is coming along, hopefully. That's what they're going to say. Uh, but I would I would like to see at some point next week, it's the weekend now, but next week I want to see Retro Studios on Twitter actually come out and say that we are very proud to confirm. I, I know it's already been confirmed, but we're very happy to say that we are in development of, we are developing Metro Prime 4. You know, it doesn't have to, yeah, and then it's supposed to like a screenshot or something. Yeah, so it's sad news, but there's a happy ending, I guess. The main thing is we have to wait a long time, especially since they're going to start development from scratch. Yes, they scratched everything. I don't know if like that means the original story is going to be rewritten. I don't know. It's something that Shigeru Miyamoto said. It's better for a game to be delayed than to be released and be forever bad. That's not the exact quote he said, but he said something like that. Yeah, so it sucks, but, you know, we'll have to make do. Hopefully this goes well, I think, since Retro's making it. I, I understand that a lot of the people at Retro Studios are not the same people anymore. But then if you think about it, it's like the people with Super Mario Odyssey, I think a lot of them were new. Even the director, yeah, he made he directed games before, but he was kind of newer. Like he might have worked for, he might have been directing games for like the last half, half over maybe less than a decade yeah, so he had the experience. And that game turned out pretty good. Yeah, so we'll probably have some of the same people and some of the different people. I think the producer is going to be the same. Kensuke Tanabe. Um, the director, I forgot his name. Mark Passini. Metro Prime 4 will be coming soon. I would say we have to wait four years, possibly three years. It could come out 2022, but I think it's going to come out 2023 for the Nintendo Switch and their next generation console. I could be wrong. Maybe it, it'll remain a Switch exclusive. I don't know. And even if it is a Switch exclusive, I think it would eventually be ported over to their next console. Thank you very much for watching the Metroid Prime 4 video. I hope you have enjoyed. I know it's kind of sad, but there's some good news to it too. Without further ado, I will see you guys next time.